Hey, hey, it's Monkey Puzzle, and I am in Infernal Minds once again. Welcome to episode number 10. Haven't done much recording this week because uh, I've been upgrading my system in a whole bunch of different ways, uh, which will come into play soon. I am probably recording on this mic for the maybe the next to last time. I've got a new mic and a whole bunch of other stuff. Maybe I'll tell you if I have some moments uh, throughout the game here. Um, before we move on, I want to well, I want to show you the results of all the loot we gathered from the Everforge from last time. But I also uh, want to dive into the lower mines. And there's a bunch of little girls screaming somewhere in my neighborhood, uh, you know, this plane. But uh, that might leak into it a little bit. But uh, hopefully that'll just add to the ambiance. <laughs> Anyway, uh, one little thing to show you here, I've been kind of obsessed with this little space over here. I kept looking at it because uh, it just looks like the kind of place that uh, Vex would want to hide something. There's like this rivulet of lava flowing down there. So I just kind of carved around a little bit over here, uh, just trying not to get myself into any lava and lose all my stuff. But... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to check it out and see if there's anything hidden down there. So I made a little staircase and found, oh, there's some nice skeletons. Let's get rid of them first. Hello. Sometimes this bow will actually one-shot them and sometimes it won't. <laughs> that one it did. Okay, yeah, so this nice little flow of lava going downhill here. And uh came down here and I lit it up some. Um, and uh, if the world would load. But uh, over here, we found more sweet lemonade. Mmm, sweet lemonade. Actually, don't need a pick for that. And it's not a trap chest. So... We've got some more potions of regeneration. Very handy things. I'm going to leave the chest there. i got plenty of wood now. Uh, load world. This is a pretty epic view. Uh, let me see if I can get the load for you. Be right back. Okay, yes, it's still coming in, but uh, you can get the gist now. Uh, one, none of these epic cliff faces with lava and... Uh, going with a really big brush size here in uh, MC Edit, looks like. Uh, anyway, let me head back to the base. I'll meet you over there, and uh, we'll get going. Yeah, so back at the base here, I've spent a little time off camera uh, just chopping trees and working on the base a little bit, making it nice, um, farm some more potatoes. Oh yeah, and I uh, threw back my uh, little custom art pack back in the uh, in the bin again. And yeah, just been hanging out, doing a lot of this, uh, and then turning a lot of it into charcoal, so that I can have plenty of coal for you know the way I like to light things up all the time. Uh, grab a sapling. After feed the beast, I always want to just roll that with my mouse wheel. Uh, but that doesn't work. And I still don't know the secret of how not to stick. Oh, I guess I didn't even need to grab that. Okay. Anyway, uh, these chests right here have the spoils of the final cleanup of the loot. A lot of it already went back into the chests already. Uh, no, that wasn't there. But uh, some of this, like this sword right here, and uh, there's, there's other goodies that already came out of there. But then this is the rest of it. Uh, this is the rest of the armor. Some very nice stuff here. We got some high quality gear. Uh, probably will use the iron today, except that I like the projectile protect protection that's on the ones that he keeps passing out. So that's pretty handy. Uh, we'll figure out how to armor up in a second. Uh, and then uh, some more weapons, lots more bows. I might have got some of these off of skeletons, maybe not. And, uh, and lots of tools with the various enchantments. I guess those are all efficiency one, but uh, hey, when you, all you got is wood stuff, uh, that's pretty fancy. And lots of these enchanted wooden swords 
Um, and then over here we got more food out of it. Some of the food already got put away, but then here's even more. Um, oh yeah, and more nether wart and sugar and that kind of stuff. Uh, and blocks. Uh, we got nine anvils, three of them brand new, which is awesome. And some more bottles of enchanting, so and a little bit of coal. Um, yeah, so those are the spoils. So I got to just uh, examine my gear and figure out uh, if we want to go like this. We've got an iron helmet. I'd like... Well, I've got those protected pretty good. Actually, in fact, i got fire protection on all of these. Yeah, you know, I might just go as is. Um, I don't think we'll... I don't suspect that uh, we'll be able to clear it out today. So uh, we'll do what we can in the 20 what 25 minutes 26 minutes I gotta set my stopwatch again that we have left um, so anyway let me just clean up my inventory a little bit and I'll be ready to go this is what my inventory looks like right now uh, I got plenty of torches some tools the cool weapons gonna go with this armor for now um, and some get out of the trouble stuff some blocks and some potatoes yeah, so I haven't been able to record much this week because I've been too busy upgrading, uh, trying to uh, really improve the quality. So I've got some new hard drives in. I've doubled my RAM from 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes. And um, what else have I done? I've got a new mic. I'm not using it yet because I'm still getting it dialed in, getting used to it. And uh, I'm going to need to also use a new recording program uh, to use it right. Uh, I want to use DX Tori from here on. So, uh, and then recording in DX Tori, I'm going to need to also uh, use Sony Vegas. Um, so, those are all big upgrades. I'm getting them dialed in. I'm also uh, uh, getting a new processor. Uh, well, I got a new processor, but it didn't work. <laughs> and the guy I bought it from is nice enough to. Uh, offer a motherboard for it so I'm actually going to be changing out my motherboard uh, to have a much faster processor and uh, and that's actually whoa okay should I be scared? <laughs> there's a whole bunch of mobs I should really focus on this I was just trying to give you guys the update of uh, why I haven't been recording that much um, oh I forgot that Ooh. whoops <laughs> and uh, lost a little glowstone there. Um, I'm going to focus, but uh, yeah, I'm also going to have to put Windows 7 in to put the new motherboard on, because I've still got my OEM uh, Windows Vista on here, and that should actually give an improvement too of performance. Um, anyway, let me get down to business here, and uh, hold on a second. I didn't set my timer, so I probably lost a little time here. Wow, it got me down on hearts pretty quick. Uh, okay, that's what I get for not focusing. So what do we got? We've got minecarts still running. We've got a whole bunch of mobs down here. Um, we're going to... Oops, I didn't... Oh, I did turn the timer on. Yeah, there it goes again. Whoa! <laughs> that's got somebody in it. Uh, oh, you, that's got a a chest in it, but it still was able to pick them up. I didn't know that works that way. Interesting. All right, where are you? Uh, so we got some lighting up to do. I guess we're going to need to go down through this area and just get it cleared out and lit up. So time to go ahead and do that real quick. Oop. And, yeah, I guess I should start from back here. And I just saw a creeper right there. Where'd he go? There he is. Hello. Okay. Whoa. There's more of those guys on there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I wonder if this has anything to do with those... Um, Minecart spawners. I bet he played with those. Um, and that's something that I just have no idea 
what kind of havoc that's going to raise. Uh, so hopefully there's no terrible surprises here. Um, so far, it just looks like naturally spawning mobs for the most part, other than whatever's going on with this whole minecart business. So let's see how quickly I can get through this whole part. I'm so glad I got that sword back. Uh, it just makes creepers so much less for formidable. Okay. Two hits, everybody. Step right up. Get your two hits. Okay. I guess we should just do it. Whoa. Is there a spider spawning here? Lots of mobs. Okay, let's take you out from a distance. Skeletons have become one of the most lethal mobs in the game at this point. Stab it. I think it increased the amount of damage their arrows do too. They're able to take me down so much faster than they used to, even with all that... Uh, Yep, definitely. That's not a sword. That's a sword. Definitely got some uh, spider spawning going on here. So we got an embedded. Yep, appeared right there. Embedded spider spawner. Let me get some light down, you guys. How am I supposed to do that if you guys keep attacking me? And I definitely got to keep an eye on my health. And my food. I think I might have got that uh, spider spawner turned off, or maybe I spoke too soon. Yeah, I shouldn't be using that knockback on these normal guys. As long as I can keep them from uh, catching me on fire. Okay, you like that part, huh? Okay, let me light that up get this all lit up um, we'll just keep working our way through here and do the best we can to tame it certainly not gonna happen all in one episode that's for sure but I brought lots of torches so let's just get this area nice and tamed and happy I heard a zombie somewhere uh, but of course that's not unlikely. Light. Bad things come out in the dark. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Wow, okay, this is a big area. I wonder where that zombie is. He's making me nervous. Anyway, let's get some more torches down here. I don't think I brought too many, <laughs> and all that charcoal making I've been doing has not been for not, <laughs> if that's a sentence. Okay, let's get this out. Yes, yes. Come on, Spidey. Alright, and there's one of those things right there. I have a feeling those are going to have some uh, some nastiness. Take you out from here and run in with some torches. Oh no, it's a bat! Light, light, light. Okay, first peek over here. All right. <laughs> now, when it gets to that kind of arrow thing, I always wonder if that is that a dispenser somewhere, or is that really how fast the skeletons shoot nowadays? OK, 
Okay. Try not to go anywhere without leaving some light behind. And uh, there must be a hollow here. So it looks like I didn't completely get this lit up. That's one cardinal rule is you don't want to leave danger to your back. You want to always make it safe and move on from there so you have a safe space to your back to retreat to. So, yeah, so I only had a few minutes to record today, um, so I didn't use any of my new tricks yet, except the new hard drives are in. So, and my operating system is on a 7200 RPM drive now, so uh, that's got to be helping. Uh, when I put DX Tori in, you can clock your drives, and my, uh, I was less than 100 on my operating system drive from before. Look, we got some coal, more coal, that's very nice. Uh, I guess he's been given to us, uh, assuming we weren't uh, making charcoal from the trees. Um, anyway, yeah, and uh, put two of them in. I put in a two terabyte drive and a three terabyte drive. So definitely adding to the capacity. This video stuff really fills them up pretty quick. Uh, so I had a three terabyte in there be from before. This is kind of makes me nervous coming up like that. Let's see if we can get up here and take a peek of what's going on here. As long as a creeper doesn't drop down on us. Hopefully this isn't perilous. Okay, not too bad. In fact, this is a pretty safe, good vantage point, it looks like. And this is an edge. So, don't need to go any farther that way. When this loads in, maybe we'll get a peek at whatever's next. Interesting little rail line thing he's got going on here uh, with the uh, nether, nether brick. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, I guess these are supposed to look like they're holding up the ceiling. Uh, definitely got to be some kind of action in those and I haven't eaten. Okay, well, let's keep on keeping on with this. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of grunt work getting through this area. Uh, so let's just keep lighting it up. But yeah, I um, ordered a six six core processor a Phenom 2 to revive my old system here. I'm on a Phenom that's like a 4 uh, four core um, uh, 1.8 gigahertz, which when I got it way back when, like a uh, long time ago, <laughs> uh, my BIOS apparently is from 2008. So this computer is getting older than I thought it was. Actually, I want that one. Um, it's been hanging in there, the quad core and everything. It's been a workhorse, but uh, yeah, it's definitely not up to speed with uh, computers nowadays. And I'm really trying to get up to speed before I get too deep into this map, among other things, because um, uh, you know the little note Vex gave us about how challenging it's going to be uh, for a computer, especially if you're recording. Uh, by the time he gets to the end, um, and he had a light version of it for people with weaker systems, but uh, hey, I don't want to do that. Okay, this is looking fairly good right now. Uh, come on, creeper. I got some knockback for you. Okay. And give you that. So yeah, um, doing a lot of stuff that's really going to improve the quality. And I got a Audio-Technica mic, uh, it's an it's a ATR2100, which was actually really affordable, and it's actually a pretty decent mic, and I got a boom arm for it, and a shock mount, and a, and a spit guard, <laughs> uh, whatchamacallit, a um, pop filter, and got it set up, but uh, still getting used to it, and... Uh, didn't want to have to uh, figure that out today, especially in case I messed up. I want to do a little bit more testing. Um, so uh, we will be bringing that into place soon. 
It sounds very different too. I'm gonna take some getting used to for me. Uh, Cause I like, you know, this Logitech headset I've been using is actually pretty decent for what it is. Um, besides how close it is to my mouth, picking up a little lip smacks and tongue noises and stuff like that, uh, it's actually fairly decent quality. The new mic picks up a lot more bass, which I like. Uh, the this headset, uh, it definitely cuts out some of the bass, but... Uh, yeah, I'm just used to it, and the other one sounds different. But uh, anyway, when I get put it on, you guys tell me what you think, and uh, we'll make a decision together. Um, but it was only 31 bucks. A lot. Uh, well, I had bought a Blue Yeti, believe it or not, and I didn't like it. Uh, I sent it back. Um, it picked up every little noise in my room, and you know I'm a dad, and I got my son, and I got dogs, and and my wife and I didn't want to I don't know my recording is never going to be like an ideal recording environment here uh, I'd have to work really hard at that and uh, yeah I didn't want to have to just change my whole room just for recording so I decided I needed what's called a dynamic mic I've learned so much there's like dynamic mics and condenser mics um, the uh, condenser mics have really good sound quality uh, but they pick up everything and your room basically has to be a studio to use them well and uh, I'm also in a really noisy neighborhood uh, there's always a little sound so I figure the dynamic mic is uh, more what I need um, but you lose a little sensitivity a little subtlety so there's trade-offs uh, it's kinda one or the other um, anyway yeah, it's just some more update on what I've been doing. So, I'm way up in the reaches, upper reaches here. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any more exciting stuff going on here. But, I like to tame the whole area. And I keep expecting these to be full of spawners, but they're not seeming to be too scary so far. I'm actually going to have to go back pretty soon for torches. Uh, I brought four stacks of them, and uh, I'm just using them up. This is a large area. Uh, and pretty soon, hopefully, we'll figure out what this... Whoa! <laughs> okay. Well, there goes the integrity of that rail line. Uh, hopefully, uh, nobody is coming... Uh, through there. I got two booster rails. Are these all booster rails? I wonder where that creeper came from. And okay, and that just goes straight <laughs> into the lava. So that's kind of silly. And I just fell off. That's silly too. All right. I didn't do nothing to you. Everybody doesn't like Steve's. I wonder why not. I'm not really a Steve. I'm a monkey puzzle. But uh, Steve's must have done something to mobs at some point in the history. They have this constant gripe against us. Anyway. Oh, you've got some string. Very nice. You gonna try to tie me up? I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, here comes. Oh, that's a spider jockey. How exciting. Okay. Oops. <laughs> What's going on with that? Okay, let's kill him. And kill him. So, yeah, I wonder where the meat of this level is. Oh, here's some of it. Ask, and you shall receive. Where's my cobble so I can make some potions? So we've got a blaze spawner over here somewhere. I wonder where. No blaze that time. And why would he put one here? What exactly would it be keeping me from? 
Okay, hello guys. Okay, blazes aren't too bad if you can pick them off from a distance and not catch on fire too many times. I wonder if the fire is doing anything to them. Nope, you missed. Okay, hold still. Well, I tried to kill you. No! <laughs> Alright, let's try again. He's on fire. He's going to try to shoot me. Yeah, let's go around this backside. Not too far, though, because uh, I'm going to need some more torches very soon. Okay, Mr. Creeper. Spider. Yes. I wonder if I activate the blazes from this side. I do. Okay. I answered that question real quick. So that's kind of nice. A uh, lava pit full of blaze. It's kind of appropriate. Just to make this area a little harder. I wonder if he hid the spawners in the lava. Although that's. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense because the lava actually should be bright enough to um, stop the spawning. So it would need to be more on the sides, I'd think. Uh, so hopefully that rules out that they're actually like buried in the lava or, you know, submerged in the lava. Yeah, don't seem to get, be able to get very far that way, huh? All right. Um, I think I'm going to leave this alone for the second, because uh, unless I totally spam torches around there, uh, we're not going to be able to stop those blaze. So let's try from the other angle. Oh, let's see what's in these carts while we're at it. What's going on with this? Ooh, okay. It's got some decent stuff in it. we got a lot of those swords, so I'm going to leave that right now. I could use these. Sure, why not? Okay. I'll take it. All right, I'll take it all. <laughs> and uh, I probably should take these, too. Around 23 minutes, so... And actually, my timer wasn't on for some of it. So, I'm sorry if this was not the very most exciting uh, episode yet, but uh, definitely got to get our way in here. Uh, this is definitely some entry. Uh, let's. I'm going to go get some torches and we'll see what we can do. I came in here and cleared up my inventory, uh, almost finished with that, and I saw that uh, it's actually a good thing <laughs> I came back when I did using this stuff up. So I'm trying to figure out what to wear next, if I can get out of that screen. Okay. Um, don't have a high-end helmet um, at this point. I think I'm going to take the chain helmet. Uh, these have respiration aqua affinity, so this isn't the place to use them. I think I'm going to take a, a chain helmet and put some fire protection on that at least, which is what I have um, from the uh, spider spawner thing. And uh, I think I'm just going to take another one of these gold chest plates because... Um, They've got the projecti projectile protection. Uh, actually, this does too. Let's put that one on. Uh, so we'll take that. That was the flak vest, he called it originally. And then uh, for pants, those are okay. We'll hang on to those for a second. And then uh, these are about to go too. Um, I think... I do have a Feather Falling 4 book. And so I should put it on either one of these. I'm afraid, kind of afraid to use the diamond yet, but at the same time, if I'm going to put Feather Falling 4 on one of these, it probably should be the diamonds. So, until he gives me an enchanting table, and then I'll at least have something that has some real durability. Um, so, I'm just going to do that enchanting work, and I'll be right back. I thought I should just show you this kind of significant. So, diamond boots, Feather Falling 4. Okay, and the second time around on the chain helmet, 
And now I've got fire protection three on it. So I'm looking kind of spiffy. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's the best I can do on that. That won't take fire protection. That already has it. Got to keep my eye on these. Maybe take some pants along. And feather falling for diamond boots. I wonder if we can uh, combine those with some fire protection as well. Uh, let's take them back off and see what that does. Oh, you can. You can get both. Uh, very good. Let's go ahead and do that. Do we have enough to do it again? I need a little bit more. So let's give ourselves some XP. And try it again. Okay. And that was the end of that anvil. But that's okay. We got plenty more. I'm going to cut these down before we go, and then I'll uh, let you know when I'm ready. Okay, time to go. Uh, let, me just, oh, let me turn my timer on. I think we probably got about five minutes left in the episode. Just guessing. Uh, you know, I try to time them, but I always forget to turn the timers on and off uh, as I uh, do my little cuts. Anyway, um, so we've made some progress into the lower mines. Uh, the entrance area here should be fairly safe. Every time I say something like that, I, I generally end up eating my words, um, but uh, hopefully it's true for the most part. Uh, let's see, we got a little darkness there and over there. Uh, so yeah, let's try coming around this way since the uh, blaze were not very happy about us going the other way. And just keeping everything nice and lit up so we don't get any little surprises here. And uh, I grab that minecart too. Ooh, what's going on in here? Oh, a chest and stuff. Let's deal with him real quick, and then we'll go see what's in there. Oh, you got a shovel. You gonna do some digging? Sorry, that doesn't work too well on sandstone, guy. So that means we need to light up a little bit up here, and a little bit over here. And there's definitely something in this wall. I wonder if that's part of the fun path in there. Um, let's get it lit up under here. And maybe over here some, a little bit. Uh, okay, that's plenty. Oh, and, and you know, all that, <laughs> I forgot to get the torches. Uh, so, got uh, fixated on armor. But uh, let's go ahead and see what's down here. As soon as we get these uh, solic stop these solicitors from coming. All right, so we got some TNT mine carts. That's just uh, these make me nervous. <laughs> let's go ahead and take those out of action, and uh, let's just pick up the rest of these two. And oh, okay. Another one of these railroady ones. I'm hearing them. Oh, where are you coming from? Come on. He's having some sound glitchy issues. And he's also glitchy. Oh, you're a infected villager. Hi. No need to come up. I'll come down and greet you. So, yeah, I'm going to go get those torches like I said I was going to do. <laughs> okay, got four stacks of torches again. And let's just spend a few minutes going this way. And then we'll have to pick up again next time. Half an hour is so short. It's like really hard to get anything done in that amount of time. So, okay, we got a lot of craziness going on here with this real with this minecart track uh, let's just keep making this safe all the way around here and uh, let's put one right up there and see if we can figure out what's going on uh, nothing too exciting yet except for those blazes and stuff am I supposed to go on here <laughs> I don't think so especially the way we saw the way that last one uh, just dumped into the lava. Um, 
Yeah, we got that going on. There's definitely some funny business happening with that. That's got to be one of those minecart spawners. Uh, can we go this way at all? What happens over here? Uh, we might be able to get down over here. Uh, what's going on with that? And... Hmm. I guess we have to go all the way that way for something really exciting to happen. Um, well, I guess this is as good a place as any to sign off. Um, so, yeah, very soon uh, there's going to be a bunch of upgrades. Uh, some already put in place. More uh, coming quickly down the pipeline. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to just keep taking this channel up and up. Uh, might be a few more delays as I install Windows and and get this uh, new motherboard in and such. Um, so <laughs> I didn't think I was going to have to go that far, but uh, yeah, I'm basically getting a whole new computer. Uh, we're going to have six cores, so they're only 2.7 each, but uh, that adds up pretty good. So yeah, it's going to be way better than what we have now. I think it's like uh, I forget the math, don't quote me on this, but I think we're going to be like 225% of where we are now. Um, so that's a pretty big improvement. That's definitely got to keep the FPS up for the series. Uh, no slideshows for you guys. Okay, so I'll pick up right here next time. Uh, yeah, it looks like we definitely have some depths. I didn't look at you, <laughs> even though I did. Um, Alright, well thanks for watching. Join me next time. Bye-bye.